got drip on the floor and it's getting nasty. Hey. He ain't keeping his hands up on my ass. Just yeah. It's giving the girls what they want. It's giving the girls what they need. Oh, period. Hey, Jules. Welcome back to my channel. So, we're doing a classy, bougie ratchet. That's what we're doing today. We we giving the classy and the bougie with the hair. Okay. And we ratchet because we got these missing fingernails, okay? I know you see this face. I know you see this face. Pull back, baby. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, please stay tuned. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. To fill in my brows, I'm going to be using my Old Faithful Elf Lock On Liner in the shade Espresso. And for my brows today, we're going to be doing them kind of straight because we want to give ourselves like an eye lifted look. So we're not doing the normal typical arch that I usually do. To conceal under my brows, I'm using my Makeup Revolution Infinite Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C13. And I'm just going to buff that away. I'm going to use this concealer also as my eyeshadow primer. The palette we're going to be using today is my Morphe Dare to Create palette. The first shade I'm going to be going into is Muse and I'm going to apply that onto my lash line. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Slice on top of that. And I'm also going to bring this into my crease. So for my transition area, I'm going to go in with the shade Evolve. And for my eyelid, I'm going to go in with the shade Canvas. And then I'm going to apply the shade Bare onto my brow bone. And then I'm going to blend out that Bare with the Evolve, the shade I was using in my transition area. So I'm going to remove the tape and clean up the excess shadow that fell on my face. So first I'm going to apply my sunscreen. I'm using the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen 85+. Plus. And then I'm going to prime my face with my Calamine Lotion. I'm going to be using the KVD Vegan Beauty True Portrait Foundation. This is in the shade Deep 86. I'm going to blend that out with my Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki Brush. Yeah. 
I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Infinite Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C13. And I'm blending that out with my IT Cosmetics Airbrush Foundation Brush. I'm using my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Caviar and Ebony. Caviar is darker than Ebony. I don't know why the sticker is lighter. So I'm using Caviar on my cheekbones and I'm using Ebony everywhere else on my face. To set my face, I'm going to be using my Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Setting Flower. This is in the shade Caramel or Plantain. To set that contour, I'm going in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. This is the dark to deep shade. And I'm going to be using that contour shade over my Fenty Beauty contour. So for my blush, I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place Saharan 2 Blush Palette. And I'm going to be using the shade Toby. So I'm going to dust off the remaining setting powder all over my face. Now I'm going to set my whole face with my Black Radiance Ebony Press Powder. For my mascara, I'm going to be using my Il Maquillage Mascara. On my waterline, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Glide on eyeliner pencil and I think this is in the shade dark brown. For my setting spray, I'm using my Il Maquillage Hydrating Spray. For my lashes, I'm going to be using my Absolute New York Divine 3D Sultry Lashes, and this is in the Style Mania. I'm going to be using my Essence Super Precise Liner. For my highlighter, I'm using my Crayon Case and Glola Highlighter Powder. So I'm going to wipe off my lip gloss.
Now I'm using my Ruby Kisses 3D lipstick. This is in the shade Sable as my lip liner. For my lip color, I'm going to be using my matte lipstick by Morphe in the shade Wifey. And then I'm going to go over that with my Broadway Clear Coconut Oil Gloss. So now we're going to apply my wig. I'm using my Got To Be Spray where my closure is going to be laying. After we've let that get tacky a bit, we're going to apply our wig and press our lace down into the glue. It'll be better to use a blow dryer versus a fan. The process will be a lot faster. I just didn't feel like getting my blow dryer. So this is the finished look. The hair is giving me George Washington. It's giving vintage, bitch. It's giving back in the day. It's giving the girls what they want. It's giving the girls what they need. Oh, period. In the meantime, in between time, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you recreate this look, be sure to tag me on your pictures on Instagram because I love to see y'all on fleek or whatever, you know. You know how do we do? You know how we do.